Welcome to the channel everybody, this is Hardware Despair, my name is Ryan and today we are playing Across the Obelisk. This is a new one for the channel and it's actually just been released into 1.0 very recently. Um, I kept, tested it out a little bit, I learned some of the mechanics of it, but not very much and I did reset everything so we don't have any cards discovered or anything. Uh, so we're going to jump into a brand new adventure mode. Now we can see there's also an obelisk challenge and a weekly challenge, but we need to reach rank 3 with our characters. So. We're going to go through this. We're going to have a bit of an... Oh, it does show my save game here. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, we want to delete that and start a brand new one. All right. So we will have a little bit of a tutorial. I'm going to skip the uh, intro. Let you guys watch that on your own. The little intro cinematic. It's a little lengthy, so I don't want to take too much time doing that. But here we can see the world map. So now we need to basically look around we can see this is the deck for this particular character right now our team consists of magnus and reginald so we've got reginald he's more of a healing type he's got holy smite he's like a cleric basically he's also got some healing abilities heal plus eight here so you can see his card deck is pretty basic at this point as it probably should be starting out let's take a look at magnus now he's got He's more of the tank type, so he's got defend, he's also got some uh, fast strikes, so he can do some moderate damage as well. But uh, he's got barricade, where he can also grant people uh, uh, the uh, like the uh, defense bonus, so that's pretty handy too. Anyway, again, a basic deck, but of course we're going to add to this as we go through the world and stuff. So, first things first, we're starting down in the bottom left, we need to click this icon here. There's a common event about to pop up, so it's very much... Uh, it's very much card based, but there are a lot of options too. As we progress across that map, we'll get a lot of different options popping up. Okay, so we can see energy management and cards. So we've got the standard energy ma management mechanic for most card games here. And you can see once you run out of energy, one cool thing is the energy does carry over to the next turn for each hero. So that's pretty handy. All right, let's get going. Card targets, if there are multiple targets for a card, you'll have to select which one will be affected. Okay, pretty basic. Let's just get on with it. So we've got to defend. We've got a ren, deal five. Ooh, let's do that one. Boom. All right, so we can pretty much just toss the cards onto the playing field there, and uh, he'll do his attack because these are all single target attack cards. Uh, let's go ahead, and he's got one more. We can defend ourselves, and we can grant our little buddy there a couple extra defense points there. All right, so because I think he'll probably draw the attack. Ah, monster cards. The cards that monsters are going to cast are hidden by default. The sight effect will reveal these cards, allowing you to plan your movements in anticipation. Nice, so there's a lot of different buffs and debuffs you can apply. Okay, speed and character order. All characters have a speed value, which can be modified by cards, items, and traits. That value establishes who moves first. Okay, that's very good. In case of a tie, the closest hero to center will have priority. All right, interesting. Yeah, uh, that's pretty standard, too, for games of this nature. Oh, okay, so he can heal. Might as well. Let's get his heal up. Um, do a little damage. Oh, look, he's got the mechanic that they just mentioned, the sight mechanic. Let's put that on the second guy, see if we can't see what he's going to do next. All right, and yeah, we'll just end the turn. We'll carry this energy over, hopefully. Should. <laughs> oh, he just had his bleed effect. Nice. Okay, so let's see here. It is Magnus' turn, and we're going to attack, finish that guy off. Now we'll apply... The light attack, but heavy bleed damage on there. And we'll grant and grant. There we go. All right. Now we're fully prepared. And we can see what he's going to do. He's got his gunshot. So that's because of our sight. All right. 16 damage. Wow. So, so we don't know who he's going to attack, though, I guess. Nope. He's going for the weak guy. He's going for the guy in the back. That's what I'd do. All right, we don't need that. Heal. Yeah, let's heal them up. I'm pretty sure their their life does not heal in between battles. Or maybe it does. I'm not sure. But let's just assume it doesn't. And let's try and leave each battle as full health as possible. All right. So now we have completed that. Let's click on the common event. Uh, event rolls. Some options will force you to roll in order to determine the result of the action. Each character will use cards from their own deck. So that's pretty cool. I like that, how as you build your deck, it affects your 
dip diplomatic options, not just the combat options. So that's pretty sweet. All right, so we've got a tavern here. You're at the nearby tavern. Oh, okay, it's asking if we want to recruit somebody. Leandrin, Reginald's brother, after talking to him, he decides to join your party. All right, yes, we only have one option. Let's let's get the mage. Woman who seems to be a mage. Yeah, we definitely want a mage. All right, this is pretty much just kind of showing us the mechanic. There's not much to our options here, but as we go along, the choices become greater, so it gets more and more complex. And I'm sure we can fail different things or have unexpected results. All right, so we're going to town. Town actions, you can craft new cards for your deck, upgrade any card that you have, and buy equipment for your heroes. You'll also be able to claim rewards from previous games. So that's interesting. A lot of replay value packed in here. Let's look at town upgrades first. There's all kinds of different stuff. This, I believe, yeah, requires this icon right here, the supplies resource. Supplies used to increase town, so obviously we have none. But that's cool to just take a quick glance at that. Um, we've got our card here, pay gold to get a divination round. I'm not sure what that'll do. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that. We don't have the money, but uh, we'll get into that later. We've got a church. We can remove cards from our deck. Interesting. That'll be very handy. I wonder if that car costs anything. Huh. Not going to do it now because we have such basic deck, but uh, with that will become handy later on for sure. Craft new cards for a deck. Again, I'm sure we, we might have some stuff we could craft. Let's see. In each town, you will be able to craft cards that you have previously unlocked. Oh, okay. So we need to actually unlock, like see the cards or whatever. Some restrictions will apply based on your town upgrades. Got you. Now, we don't really need to duplicate any of the cards we have. So these are the ones we know. And... We've already got them all represented in the deck, so no need to spend any money. The altar, upgrade cards, and transform them into powerful versions. Let's look at, like, um, Fast Strike. Oh. So what does this one do? Melee attack. What is the difference? I see the damage difference, but why? Oh, this one reduces the cost to zero. Oh, that's pretty huge. Okay. Well, I think we're going to save our crystals because I'm not sure exactly how we get these, but I just want to check this stuff out. So, last one here, buy equipment. Oh, look, a piggy bank. Oh, wait, maybe we should buy something. When you die, retain an additional 20 gold. Oh, wait, we don't plan on dying, though, all right? Mm. Max HP healed on. Well, I tell you what, let's just go ahead. We'll save everything we got. It's good that we checked out the town, but let's get ready. I think it's time to do a little action. Ah, yes, we got a battle. So we can choose one of three directions to go. Um, I'm looking ahead. It looks like this direction up here has some interesting options. We got one, two, three. After we come to this, we'll be able to choose two here. So let's let's go this direction. Let's go northward here. We got a, a battle first, though. Ah, some corn. <laughs> All right, I like the animation for sure. All right, let's see here. This is, oh, this is our rogue, or no, 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 he's a ranger, I would assume, because he's probably got a very high speed, so he's going first, then it's going to be Magnus, what's his name, Andrin, Magnus, then Evelyn, oh, and the corn all goes before Reginald, Reginald's the slow guy, put, taking up the rear, but that's okay, all right, let's see, let's deal some damage to the guys in the back, I'm going to try and focus, oh, wow, this guy's brutal. Oh, I probably should have done that at the beginning, but that's okay. Apply, grant one, look at, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do this for Magnus. So we can grant, what does it do? Let's read it real quick. Grant, inspire, draw one extra card per charge at the end of the turn, then remove all charges, can't be purged unless specified. Vanish, this card will be removed from the combat when played. Okay, cool, cool. So we can look at top five cards and discard any of them. Magnus is next, so let's do it to him. Um, I'm gonna get rid of one of these defense. And what does this do? Apply slow and vulnerable. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll save that one since that's only cost zero, so that's kinda nice. We'll just get rid of that one, see what we come up with. Okay, now it's his turn, so we'll end, um, What's his name? Andrin's turn. And it should be Magnus. Great. Cool. So he did, he got a different card instead of that def second defend. Now, let's see here. Let's put this on the top guy. Oh, that applied it to all of them. Heck yeah. All right. A little bit of bleed action. 
How does a cor corn cob bleed? I don't know. We're going to find out. Um, I'm going to save that. And let's do a nine. Now let's gain a little bit of strength. And let's grant some to Evelyn. There. Looks like Andrin's got, got a little bit from his ability. So that's a good turn. Good turn. Now it's Evelyn. Let's go. The mage is up. What does she got? Fire Blast. I love the sound of that. Not very, not very, those are good finishers maybe. I don't know, just, they don't cost anything, so we'll get them out there. Uh, ooh, okay, Insulate. Oh, like, oh, Elemental Resistance, nice. She, and a shield, so this is defensive. Let's put that on our boy back there in the back. Um, let's see, what does this one do? Energize, grant, oh, extra energy per turn. And Inspire, okay, we're gonna give this to him too, because his turn's up next. Okay, and this charge battery deal two damage lightning. Apply what? What is that? I know you can also right click the card, so I just right clicked it and you can get like a full look at it, including what it upgrades to. You can get a nice big uh, still picture of the text there. So energize at the start of turn. Okay, spark lightning resistance plus one per charge deals one lightning per charge to the target's sides oh okay at the start of turn so this thing would be like a debuff that damages the creatures around it i believe is what that's telling me this damage can be blocked and is not affected by other modifiers okay interesting let's do it i'll put that one in the middle then for sure and in the turn very good so that's a little strategic damage there we can do with the mage that's cool all right and here's our healer nobody really needs to be healed so let's just do a smite and um what does this do regenerate you know what i think this actually regenerates everybody including our enemies i'm gonna try it just to test it but look yeah everybody just got regeneration wet from that so that's interesting that's an interesting card but um, i'm sure it'll be handy in the future let's see no healing i'll just grant a few barriers so let's, let's read what this does block remove okay so it prevents one damage per charge shield Grants one block per charge. Wow, that's a pretty hefty spell there. All right. He's going to be generous. He'll give it to each of his comrades. All right, here we go. Ooh, what the heck? Repeating damage? Do you see that? He just got sparked to death. Okay. These guys got some popcorn bursts coming at us. It's all right. That's nothing. That's nothing to us. Adrenaline. Let's go. Um... Yeah, we need some heavy damage on this front guy right here. Oh, crap. I, should, I need to do that more often at the start of the turn. So, yeah, there's... Um, actually, check that out. Okay, so we can gain two energy, but we also are gaining a fatigue. But I'm going to do that so we can push out more damage and actually finish off that guy in the back. Check that out. All right. Turn. I think this battle's done, folks. Come on, Magnus. Can you finish it, bro? Draw one card, gain two. Yes, enrage. Ah, oh, crud. He needs a little bit less defense in his deck, I think. Uh, I don't know. It's too hard. It's too early to tell, but we'll see. Uh, let's put this on her. Oh, no. That was just a party wide buff. Huge. That's huge. All right, Evelyn. It's time for you to finish it. Oh, what's that do? 14 frost damage. Locked cards. During your adventure, we will discover new cards after each combat. All cards shown will be unlocked. Remember, you can only be able to craft. So, we just unlocked all these cards to craft, but we can only choose one for as a reward, or we could choose shards. So, let's see. I wish I could zoom in a little bit, but that's okay. I can still right-click if needs be. So, this one's blue. Looks like that one might be a rare. Defense block. That's pretty huge right there look at that 20 shield wow or another i'm gonna do this one for him mm. now what is this hit and run you gain oh you gain more speed <gasps> and look what it upgrades to Ooh, what does that one do evasion prevents one hit per charge okay man we got some serious buffs in play here or potentially let's go with ooh, quick shot hmm Oh, this one costs zero, so I like this, actually. I like that one. A little bit pricier, but that's okay. Oh, look at that monster. Fireball, you have to go with the fire. She's a mage. She doesn't have a fireball. She needs a fireball. Now, this is the trickier one here. 
We could go with the Vile Lance. Ooh, applies a bunch of debuffs. Or Clarity, which is like a healing... It's more like a support spell, obviously. Not bad. Costs nothing. Or Holy Smite. I'm actually going to go with Holy Smite. We need more offense. All right, here we go. We've got a choice. Scorched Field or Tom's Farm. Let's go for the Scorched Field here. Crops on fire. Ah, okay. Near the farm, you come across a burn field and a burning house. In front of the house, there is a fire imp causing fires next to some um, burning cornies. Well, I guess we know what we're fighting. Even half burned, the house may contain something valuable. You feel you have to deal with the fire imp cornies first. You can deal with the imp and investigate the house or ignore him. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I guess we could stealth. I will cast a cold spell to scare the imp or sneak away. No, we're, we're going to sp spell it. Do it, Evelyn. Let's go. Crap. Oh, man. She miscast. Oh, well. Good try, Evelyn. You didn't make it, but hey, you're only a level one, so... Oh, dang. She just drew their fire, too. <laughs> hey, look at that ugly imp. Let's get him. All right. Um, our ranger's up first. Andrin, right? Yeah, Andrin's up. Do, do, do. Well, let's... Actually, yeah. Let's do a little bit of that. Because now we can nail these guys. This guy is a damage dealer right here. Look at this. All right. Now we'll hit. Um, yeah, we got to use this one. We'll just hit the first guy. Very good. Now he's going to have extra speed for the next turn. In turn. Let's go. What do we got, Magnus? Oh, my God. He's all defense all day. That's okay. We can deal with it. And gain. Go. Gain and go. Uh-oh. Ha-ha. That's right. Everybody attack uh, this dude right here, Magnus. Dang it. That popcorn gun's getting a little bit more damage to it, isn't it? All right. Let's see. Charge battery. Charge battery. Uh, yeah, we'll put that one in the middle. Yep. Now we've got just enough here. It's not going to finish off the imp. No. he. I bet he has like a fire resistance too as well since he's an imp. But let's try that guy. <laughs> she blasted him right in his forehead. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, oh, he's on fire here in the back. I didn't even know that. I actually do wish he, I had a heal now with him, but um, it's okay. We're going to grant a couple of barriers here. I'm also going to holy smite this guy. Hopefully he kills him. Dang it. Um, not worried about the foresight, but it does cost zero, so I'll just play it on the middle guy. There we go. Now we know what he'll play next. I'm betting it's... Oh, okay. Some sort of attack card. Uh, expert tracker. Yes, yes, yes. We want this for our boy. Wait, wait. Oh, so... Huh. I got it. The imp is a little bit faster than Magnus, so... But I have a feeling we're going to kill the imp with this turn, so I'm still going to do it to Magnus. Very good. Oh, yeah. Um, get rid of your defend buddies. Yeah, let's... I'm going for... Oh, look at this. We get stone skin. Awesome. That's a cool card. I like that. The ability to look at, an, you know, one of your heroes, upcoming draws. All right, yeah, let's finish the imp. Oh, this ranger, man. He is the best. All right. Didn't have quite enough energy to finish off the first popcorn guy, but that's on Magnus. Let's go, Magnus. What do we want to do? We're definitely going to deal some damage. I'll put that on him. Probably should have done that in reverse there. I should have debuffed him first and then attacked, but that's okay. That's okay. This guy's not going to last very long. I'm also going to keep my eyes out for some AoE heals with our for our cleric, Reginald. Yeah, he's going to be... A, that's going to be a pretty crucial spell, I think. Oh, look at this. Cold Spark. Oh, e X equals number of cards in my hand times 0.5. Okay, this I do first, then. I should have done that one first. <laughs> right in the forehead. What do we get? Unlocked. Upgraded. Okay. Wait, what is this? Crack. Blunt damage. One per charge. Wow. A little lingering debuff there. Damage over time for the enemy. All right, what do we... And, of course, we can go with shards, too. So, like, yeah, actually, look at this. He doesn't have the greatest options down here. Prayer of Protection. Uh, eh, what is this? Vitality, HP, and max... Oh, HP and max vitality. That's not too bad, but I'm actually going to choose shards. 
for him. Now, let's see. What does she got? Oh, more spark. Um, deal. I don't know what that symbol, that purple symbol, I guess it's maybe shadow damage or something. I'm not sure. I haven't fully investigated the damage types, but that one is baffling yet so far. <laughs> uh, this one's a little bit more straightforward. You know what? We're going with shards for her too. We're going to start trying to get our shard count up. I don't, I don't know exactly what we use them for, but we saw a little bit of that in the town. So obviously it's going to be important. Oh, deal 11, deal X frost and apply chill. I like that shot for two. Mm, he's got such expensive, but really cool like abilities. He's becoming quickly becoming my favorite character. Magnus, you're a bit of a letdown, bud. What do you got going on up here? Um, no, deal eight, apply crack. I, I, I'll take the attack. We need more attacks with Magnus. All right, the burning house. You're at the entrance of the burning house. Clearly, this was a poor man's house, and you can see that the contents are already destroyed and burned. Before you leave, a chest catches your eye, although the chest is still on fire. The fire is spreading rapidly, and there will be nothing left. Uh, rush into the house and try to get to the... Yes. No, no, we want the chest. All right, everybody, do your cards. Evelyn, you better... Oh, man, we failed. Again, we failed. That's okay. It's all down to our card decks, so we need to beef up these decks, I'm thinking. The heat becomes unbearable, and you have to leave the chest. Oh, fortunately, made it. Oh, no one was hurt. Well, thank goodness for that. We did not get any loots, though. All right, I see a exclamation mark right here, which is only, like, one turn away. So let's, let's do this encounter, and let's head over there. All right, check this out. We've got a farmer in the mix, another actual human being. We have to fight here. Yep, and our health is still down from the last fight, so that's something that doesn't recharge. Maybe there, there's maybe there's like an inn, or if we go to town, we can recharge it. But So that's all on you, Reginald. Get us up, buddy. Okay, I shot. Do we have that draw card? We've got this. Let's do this for Magnus real quick. Actually, he's looking decent. I probably won't be able to use the rend. Actually, let's redo one of the... Now, um, it's okay. That's fine. I actually like that because he's got an enrage there too, I just noticed. So he's going to be set up for the next turn. Adrenaline, yes. Two, four. Yeah, because we do this, we can shoot every one of these. Okay, let's do... Let's go for the farmer. Same again. And... Rupture. Got him. All right, end your turn, son. Now, Magnus is up. All right, so Magnus, I need you to enrage yourself, buddy. That's a huge card right there. Enrage? You kidding? That's awesome. All right. Um, we're going to put this on our boy Reginald. And then we shall... Let's see, we got five. We're going to buff him to the moon. And now it's time to rend and to just deal so much damage. All right, there we go. He's not bad. For a tank, he's not bad. Oh, look at that. Nobody can touch him. The farmer just healed him. It's okay. It didn't heal this one enough. Not enough to save him. Okay, so we've got charge battery. Cold. Yeah, this is the one we do first. So let me hit um, Yeah, him. Oop, I don't think I targeted it properly. There we go. Right in the chest. Right in his little flower. Oh, so he's like corrupted or something, looks like. Anyway, let's uh, charge battery. Three to go. Three to go. We can do a frostbolt or a, what does this do? Energize. Inspire. Oh, that's handy. But right now we're focused on damage. So let's frostbolt this guy. And elemental ward. Grant. She, she's going to give that to herself. Okay. In turn. Let's go. Popcorn burst. Not too shabby. All of it aimed at Reginald. <laughs> Poor guy. Where's his heals? Okay, he needs a heal on himself. Not bad. Let's grant himself a barrier. Uh, let's give one to her. And that's it. Reginald, you, you're doing okay back there, dude. You'll be okay. Oh, Magnus is burning. He's got six burning on him. And his fire resistance is lowered. Wow. That's a, that's a pretty nasty debuff. All right, Hunter's Mark. Oh, okay, what does this do? Mark. Oh, prevents one stealth, removes one... Okay. Hmm, wait. 
so it does increase damage taken. Yeah. All right, so we will do that to this guy in the back. Draw. Ah, crap. There we go. All right, all right. Wasn't a wasn't a huge turn for the ranger, but that's okay. Andrid, you'll do better next turn. Let's see. Gain. Do, do, do. Kill this guy. I actually want to save that. Boom. I shouldn't have saved it. <laughs> it doesn't matter, actually. It doesn't make a difference. We killed the guy. Let's gain our defense and go. Roasted corn. Popcorn burst. Yes. Shoot the shields. Shoot the shields. All right. Fire blast. Deal three. That's a good spell. I'll just put it right in the farmer's face. And, oh, mana gem. Nice. She doesn't actually need it this turn, but uh, that's a handy card. 14 again. I'm going to take out their healer. Oh, and um, who's next here? It's going to be, yeah, our boy Reggie. Let's get it, Reg. That's it. She doesn't need the mana gem just yet. Watch the corn. They got sharp little leaf claws. Oh, God. The farmer's on the attack now. Okay, let's heal up the big guy. I don't care about that. I'll just apply it, though. Who cares? Um, healing rain. Ooh. Wait, we can finish him. Reginald! Taking him out, Reggie. All right, we got two more. Yeah, let's do a little more, more damage. Who's next? Oh, yeah, we're going to... We're gonna. I mean, it's fine. I'm just... I know we're going to win this. I'm just trying to think about if we can get their health up at all. Let's do that. A little bit. Also healed them, but that's okay. That's okay, because their life's going to come down a lot quicker than it's going up. All right, deal 14. Okay, that's two, actually. We can deal more if we just stick to the melee combat. Yeah, that's better for now. Since we're down to just two guys. Okay. Yes. It's all defense. Mm. Okay. He is fully defensed up. <laughs> Alright, Fire Blast. Yes. Give me a couple of those right in the forehead. Give me a charged battery. Mm. Well, we can do both. Yeah, we got to finish him. A little bit of an overkill there, but I don't care. This guy's not going to do nothing. Good job, Reginald, back there blessing himself. All right. Ooh, what's this? Divine Grace. Dispel, heal, axe. Oh, okay. Um, let's do this to Evelyn. Very nice. That was beautiful. What a lovely card that was. And we are going to heal... Our boy here, Andrin. And I don't even care about those cards. Not even going to bother the effort of doing that. We're going to take some of those cards out. They're cool in spirit, and we'll probably need them later on against, like, bosses and stuff. But for right now, that not that great. All right, let's see here. Deflect. All right, time to put the pressure on this boy. What do we do next? Ten. Yeah, ooh, this one. Big time. Let's go. Ma oh, Magnus is bleeding. Alright, I hope the debuffs fall off in between fights. I bet they do. Alright, let's see here. Rend, yes. Pommel, pommel that dude. That's it. That's all he can do. He's big and slow. Oh, the fireball to finish it off. Talk about overkill. Target sides. Damn, that's a huge, huge spell. Really glad I picked that up. Okay, so this one got upgraded. See, in yellow, it's upgraded now. Deals 20 to... What? What? Oh, Magnus just became our damage dealer. Check that out. Ooh, what's this? Ah. Oh. All monsters. Wow. That's actually huge right there. See, now this is a good spell. Oh. Um, we have, might have to go back to town to take out some of his spells so I can add this. And remember, we can still craft this. If I don't select it now... I can still craft it up later, so I think that's probably what we'll do. What is this? Ode to War? Self. Requires stamina. One. Do we have that? Vanish Evasion. Powerful. Wow. This looks like an awesome card. I wonder what this will upgrade to. Self. He Wait. Hero? Oh, so we could change... We could This one we could, like, choose what hero gets it. And then this one takes it down. Oh, wow. I'm taking that card. Okay, and Curse of Agony. Ouch. Nasty. That's a good one for a boss right there. Shadow Bolt. 
Deal 14, apply one. Oh, another fireball. <laughs> uh, Curse of Agony. That sounds pretty cool. I like the sound of that one. All right. Ooh, Flash Heal. Uh, Clarity. We do need more healing spells, so we're going all cards with that round. Now, let's see what the water mill has to hold in store for us. It says character event, and it's got the exclamation mark. Hopefully, we don't fail this. Whispers in the shadow. You enter a nearby water mill. It seems empty at first glance, but then you hear a whisper directed at you. Okay, you aren't my prey. You are scaring them. Leave, please. But first, I have to offer you, if you happen to find a very strong venom, give it to me. I will join. Oh, wait. I, I will join your group after I finish this job. Except you will search for it and get... If you get the chance, you will ask for a clue where to start. Oh, okay. Someone who doesn't... Interesting. So let's go for the lizard man. Let's see if we can't get him to join us. In my homeland, Aquafall Marsh, there is a cave full of spiders. Maybe there. Oh, great. So he sends us on a mission to check out a cave full of spiders. Wonderful. Maybe this guy isn't our friend after all. <laughs> the spoils of my victims. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll check that out. We'll, we'll keep that in mind. Oh, look. We got some loot. So these are items that will go on. So it's like equipment. Like, as we saw in town, you can buy equipment and stuff. So we all... Oh, I didn't know they already had some stuff. He's got combat bandages. Nice. All right, let's see what we can do here. So, you can choose one of the items or the following gold amount. Interesting. Who gets what? Healing potion? Oh, this is for... Oh, this is for Magnus right now. I presume the others will have their own choices. So, let's go through it. Um... Actually, the opal ring might be kind of cool. Wait, max HP, all resist? Yes. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, here we go. So he's up next. Damage increase with the dagger. Yeah, he needs a new dagger. Cool. Oh, and it like grays out. Oh, I see. So, yeah, we don't get to choose from new cards each turn. It's just a pool they each get to grab from. That's neat. All right. Damage. Oh, frost damage. She's got a number of frost spells, so let's do that. We can pro I assume I can change this out later, so no worries. Now, he needs a health potion. Well, he's already got that slot filled. Let's see, recover damage. By wow, still way better than the damages, but I think for him I'm actually going to go with the leather armor. That seems smart, right? Keep him beefed up a little bit. All right, so we've made it to this position on the map here. We've got... A few more options ahead of us before we get to the end, but uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode here. Let me know what you guys think of this game down in the comments if you'd like to see more. I think I'll definitely do at least one or two more episodes just to maybe clear this map, and I'm actually having a lot of fun with it, so I'd like to do more. Just like I said, let me know what you think. Hit thumbs up, subscribe if you enjoy the content, and check the description down there for all the different links I've got, and I will see you guys on the next episode.